So if you guys watched yesterday's video, you would know that today's original video idea was going to be me running around with this brand new Type 25 Summer Burst. At least this is the first time I've ever seen it. And then I thought, hey, why should I even spend money on making a video with the Type 25 when I already have two legendary versions and a couple other versions? Like, what's the point? I'm going to make one video on it and then I'm never going to use the skin again. And then I was like, well, I don't even know what I would title it anyway if I did use that skin and just ran around the Type 25. So let me think of a video topic. And then it popped up into my head. Well, the Type 25 does have two different builds that people rock with it, and that is going to be one with the stop and power reload and then one with just one of the standard extended mags. So I figured, hey, you know what? We could actually make this a video subject where we compare just the standard extended mag and the stop and power reload of the Type 25 and sort of have like a little like field debate on what is better. And when I say feel, I mean, I'm not talking statistics. I'm literally talking about how the weapon feels in game. Ever since the Type 25 was actually buffed, I had not used it with the stop and power reload on it. So today I figured we'd go ahead and give that a shot. And then we're just going to do a couple of gameplays swapping between both of the different magazines. And then I'm going to give my final opinions at the end of the video on what I think is actually better. And we are going to use the legendary bloody vengeance version of the type 25, just because I haven't really pulled this thing out in forever. So like I said, we're going to be saving money and we actually have a pretty banger video topic. So if you guys all do enjoy today's video, I'd appreciate if you went ahead, hit that like button, all that good stuff. And also before we hop into the gameplay, huge shout out to all of you guys for us hitting 600,000 subs here on our mobile channel. Really do appreciate you guys. But with all that being said, I'm gonna start queuing up into a ranked match and I'll see you all once I find my first game. Okay, this is actually amazing. Although it's not good for like the weapon that we're using or at least with the stopping power rounds, but we have Hovik Sawmill, which I've not played yet in rank. So I'm actually super hyped to finally be doing it. Now, the reason I said this isn't like the best map or the best sort of situation for the 30 round stopping power reload is because that's primarily most efficient in close range so close range maps so definitely maps like summit shoot house for sure i'm trying to think of other like close range maps nuketown that's definitely where the 30 round reload is going to be most effective and honestly i think what my opinion probably is going to be after the end of this is going to be to have two loadouts one with the extended mag and one with the 30 round reload but we'll get to that when we get to that i'm excited to see what we can do here in our first ever ranked game on hovik sawmill starting off our game with a kill down the left lane over here by the b side go ahead and get another player here off the flag and i got yeah footsteps to my right as well as that player in front of me i don't quite know how players are going to play this in ranked my only real experience with this map is uh on mono warfare 2019 so i still kind of have to learn like what the popular routes and lanes are here in cod mobile as well as the spawn points of course and hop ups geez i have to learn basically everything is what i'm trying to say enemies somehow just took c i'd imagine we're still having a few spawn ups over here at a got a fight going down over here at the rocks we'll go ahead and take out that player let me throw a trip mine down right over here in case the spawns ever do rotate while i'm still alive and with that cap that's gonna get us the uav so we'll go ahead and throw that down and it looks like we have a whole bunch of players over at b so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this kinetic armor we're gonna start making our push uav was saying that they're down low but i imagine they're gonna hop up no they're all down low yeah there's no shot except for this guy up close go ahead and take them out fall back a little bit here because that player at longer range saw me uh let me drop this gas grenade down and i have to hit this reload because i'm immediately going to be getting challenged here it's gonna go prone perfect enemies are still over here on b we'll go ahead and get that wipe as well Hit the reload again. And that's one of my biggest issues with the 30 round reload is the fact that you have to constantly reload it just because of the fire rate. Oh, with that kill though, that's gonna put us five points off of a swarm. So I'm gonna just take my time, regen HP, and let's see if we can clutch this up. We can, we got ourselves an advanced UAV. It's showing that we have a player in front of us. Taking advantage of that fast time to kill though with the stopping power rounds. And we got a player up top, I'm assuming. Perfect. Go ahead and eliminate them. And we have just one more mag of ammo left here for a couple of kills. That's a lot of players in front of me. Okay. Yep. Time for us to fall back. We're going to call in the swarm. Um, dang, I really want to try to get a couple of kills here. Nice. Perfect. Go ahead and grab this player's type 25. What are they using? The 46 round extended mag. Perfect. So this is like kind of a direct comparison immediately here. Radar is pinging a lot of players in front of us over here. Nice. I'll take that assist. Okay, so modded. Oh, I'm gonna pop this. I got another swarm here. Had that player weak. So just go ahead and push that fight. I have another advanced UAV. Might be worth calling in right here just because I know the spawn points are pretty close. Ah, come on, bro. I need to get a couple of these kills. Dude, they're all just sitting right here. 
Oh my, what the freak? Yo, did you see that guy? Yo, he was bolting, man. What the hell was that? Oh, that could have been an easy kill and I would have been able to get like two more there before the round ended. Oh, that's an F in the chat because that's kind of a waste of the advanced UAV, but also like, bro, that man legit bolted. <laughs> okay, let me call this orb. I gotta see if I can work my way up to another UAV or something. I see a player over there. Go ahead and tap him up, and I'll get us the UAV. Finally. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the kinetic, and we're just gonna push mid. I see a lot of players rotating over towards B anyway. Awesome. See here for a second longer. Wait for another UAV ping to go off. Oh, died in the back there, dude. What? An MX9 of all guns. Dang, that's an L. That would have been awesome for us to get a nuke here in our first game of Sawmill. I should have pushed this lane probably because that's where everybody starts to spawn up. It was just really hard to like know what to push without a UAV. Oh my God, speaking of everyone spawning up. Hopefully I can get this reload down. I can melt these players. I just have to hit my shots. Nice. There's another one back there. So they all spawn like right over here, huh? This is that spot, little graveyard. Yeah, definitely once you learn the spawns on this map, I think it's going to be a really fun one because it seems like you could trap pretty easily. So I'm excited to play more of this map. I just need people to actually vote for it, dude. Everybody watching this video, next time you see this map as an option, vote for it. Just saying. It's actually pretty fun. I think visually it's one of the best looking in the game right now, especially in ranked. Got an AFK player. Go ahead and take them out. And this game's pretty much over. We got a triple cap. Players aren't even moving on the other team. Like, this is a GG's. Yeah, and right before I had the shot of getting that kill, man, that'll do it. Not a bad first match on, though. I definitely wish we would have been able to get the nuke. But yeah, first game with the 30-round stop and power reload. Not bad. Definitely not the most ideal situation to have used it in. Going to this next game, we're going to go ahead and swap to the 46 extended mag just to see if we can feel an immediate difference in the time to kill. But I'll take it. I know we had a pretty decent game. 33 kills. What, like two, three deaths? Yeah, so a little 11 KD. Not bad. Okay, so now that we swapped to the non-stop and power reload, we have ourselves Nuketown, which would have been good for those rounds. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's going to make too big of a difference just because the 46 round reload is pretty good on the Type 25, especially for this map too, because you can take multiple fights without reloading, which is one of the big reasons why I've pretty much used this for the majority of the season so far. Got one over here behind our teammate. One over here by the garage. Got him one hit. Take him out. This guy has no idea I'm here. Although my weapon sounds unsuppressed, it actually does have a suppressor on it. Ah, uh, right there. I think that kill probably would have been much quicker with the stopping power reload. Come on, bro. I'm just trying to reload. How many times have I said reload in this video, bro? Nice. Saw that player over there by the garage. Pop the kinetic. I'm popping off. Yeah, leave the door open. <laughs> All right, sorry. My girlfriend came in. <laughs> so I was talking to her for a second. So yeah, I was slaying out while probably muted here. But we do have ourselves an advanced UAV. So let me pop that. Trip mine popping off. We got a player here in the corner. Another one right here on the objective. I might be able to pop them both. Oh, fresh spawn. But yeah, while I was sort of muted right there, you could see a lot of like the big reasons why I liked using the extended mag is it has the ability to get those longer range kills and you can take multiple fights. Yeah, this is definitely more of like a spray and pray meta build. Nice. Oh, this is a bad guy. Yo. <laughs> Picking up a triple like that. We got more players spawning up over here. Just immediately keep the pressure on. Bro, our team is dominating right now. I honestly feel like we could probably nuke this lobby, though. So I'm going to keep playing super aggressive. We already have another advanced UAV swarm combo. Okay, go ahead and throw that up. Got two players in front of us down low. Take out one. I'm just going to keep the pressure on. Just keep rushing every fight. Okay, what are we doing here with this map breakdown? We got one in the window, which I hate. Get rid of him. Player down the right lane. Get rid of them. And then garage one. And then right here. Oh, he's behind the shield. You know what? That's fine because that means he's going to contest. Okay, I'll take that double kill. Pop the swarm now just so it can maybe get me the advanced UAV. And I need to pick up one kill here with the pistol. This is the one. Or not. They swapped it from the katana. They did not. Uh, advanced UAV. Pop that into the sky. Players are down low. 
Okay, big kill, big kill. What's this guy doing? Nothing. No, game's gonna end. Game's gonna end. No! <laughs> Yo, 45 kills though, not bad. Probably gonna be scuffed for the gameplay because I was muted for so long, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm definitely more warmed up now, so we're gonna hop back into another game. This time we're gonna use the stop and power reload. See how that feels in comparison. Okay, if I don't get a nuke this round, then uh, nothing. I'm not even gonna think about it because I'm getting a nuke. Undoubtedly melting that first player. Wait, oh, that was a bad guy. I just went over there into the tower. Shoot, I actually hate that. You know what? Give me this SVD just so I have that in the back pocket. I want to get this player down. Okay, let me go ahead and push him to the tower. I think this guy's dead, but I want to actually clear it out, make sure. Yeah, yeah. Enemies are going to be spawned down low anyway, so this is a good position to be at. Good idea was showing someone over there. Teammates actually took him out. Ooh. Okay. Slaying out a little bit. Enemies are probably going to start focusing me over here, so what I'm going to do is actually pop the kinetic and then just, like, push forward. Try to break out of that position. I don't want too many people to know exactly where I'm at. Oh, gosh. I don't want to die in the back. Just reload. Got two players down here. Go ahead and take out one. We got a player mid here. Advance UAV. I'm already out of ammo. Probably should have ran, like, Scavenger or something. All right, I guess we're picking up an RUS here. Fun stuff. Oh, let's see if we can grab another Type 25. There's got to be someone in this lobby using one, right? Oddly enough, we have a lot of players in front of us over here. And I'm, like, not seeing any Type 25s in the feed now that I'm, like, really trying to pay attention to that. Another player down low. Actually shredding right now with this RUS. Gun I typically don't really like too much. Pop the kinetic. I'm going to play aggressive on this player. I think that was the SVD. How about this dude over here on the vehicle? Did he go down? Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh, it was this guy's Winstone RUS. Okay. Go ahead and get a nice little ammo refresher. Pop the UAV. And I'm going to flank down low because I think enemies are probably spawning wood. So this is the best move for an SMG. Behind me. Swarm. Is this guy dead? Oh, no, he's still alive. Oh, my God. He was wall banging me, too. Okay, advance UAV. Where's our nuke, man? I know we're close. What? Where's the nuke? Pat Mobile, where nuke? It's still not here? Oh, let me pop this. There it is, finally. Whoa, dude, we got like no kills with the Type 25 then because I've been shredding ever since I picked up this RUS. I'm actually surprised. Let me go ahead and call it in. We might be able to double. I'm not going to go for it, but it is kind of in the realm of possibilities, and I do want to also die just so I can get that Type 25 back. So I'll tell you what, let me just start hit firing. Yeah, let me see if I can actually get killed here. Oh, wait, Type 25. Never mind. No need. Found one just chilling on the ground. This one with the 42 round extended mag. So that's going to be the fast reload. That means they're probably going to spawn in front of us here. Yep. I'll get us a swarm. I'm going to keep playing aggressive because I'll tell you what, if I get this advanced UAV, yeah, I can just use that. Keep playing aggressive here in this match. Go ahead and start hitting this reload. What are they saying about Noah? It's all about Noah. <laughs> That ain't no way I'm in a game with Noah. Yes, sir, you are. Shout out to my mans on the other team. There's another one back there? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, nice. Someone saved me. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Cordite? Go ahead and grab that. Oh, it's this version of the Cordite. I actually love the iron sights on this thing. This thing doesn't feel bad. Ooh, okay. Little double kill. Got more players over here to our left. Go ahead and take him out. Throw up the swarm. There are a lot of shots in this mag. Advanced UAV part, I don't know, like seven. We got a player right here. This thing's actually beaming. Hey, yo. Oh, I just realized enemies got a persistent swarm. It's okay. It's still kind of in front of me here, so I can keep playing this building. It's going to be a long range kill. Yeah, I don't know what's on this Cordite build. This thing's naughty right now. What the heck? about this guy on the stairs oh my gosh yeah that was the domination there 50 bomb hell yeah i don't know if we died at all i don't oh yeah we died once damn that was a good gameplay though okay i didn't really get to use the 30 round type 25 all too much i don't think any of you guys are complaining though because that was a pretty fun gameplay but for the sake of just fairness we'll go ahead and swap to the 46 rounds one more time and then see what we can do with that all right final matchup we got domination on standoff Anybody pushing down here? Enemy nobody, nobody, shot. nobody. We're definitely going to have those players coming off to see, though, right? Enemy no, they all just ran straight over this way. 
Yeah, hold up. I'm about to just hit the world's baddest flank. Should have another one on the objective. Yep. Okay, a nice little triple kill to start things off, but unfortunately, enemies did just pick up B. Luckily, however, I'm in a power position and everyone should be spawning up in front of us, so that should be an easy flag cap here for our boys on the B. Yep, and we're just actually holding down this statue perfectly. I'm not gonna lie, I do feel a lot more comfortable with the 46 round extended mag. It's just easier to take on, like I said, multiple enemies and multiple fights at once because you do have enough ammo just to, like, spray around. And it still does a really, like, decent amount of damage, especially in comparison to, like, those longer ranges where the stopping power just isn't as beneficial. I'm calling out contact with enemy. I think that's actually up top over here. Go ahead and take out this player on the flag, though, first. And my freaking swarm's trying to murder me. Everybody's spawning in front of us. I was not exaggerating when I said everybody. Oh, leaving that one player one hit. Got one player over on B. Teammates taking him out, doing a good job at that. Go ahead and get that wipe. And I need to pick up a new gun. That guy luckily didn't see me. We got another Type 25 here on the ground. I gotta fall back at this reload. I do have my kinetic armor to work with. Nice spawn point, my mans. What's this guy doing over here? Going down. I didn't pop this. Advanced 2 AV. Okay, that's giving me the opportunity here to reload. Got two players in front of us. There goes one. The other one's up top. A couple of them just spawning over here in the back alleyway. And with that kill there, that's going to put me on the freaking nuke already. I'm going to go ahead and pop the swarm. I think we're going to continue out this streak just because it's so early and we're streaking up so freaking heavily. And I'd be lying if I thought that that was actually going to happen because I just got murked by my swarm. <laughs> oh, I was thinking, okay, you know what? We could potentially go for like a flawless record right now, but yeah, no. Maybe a double nuke, though. I haven't gone for one of those in forever. Enemies are all spawning up over at C. We might be able to get a couple of kills here before the end of the round. Let's see if we can get back on a quick little streak. Wow. Okay, I gotta pop this kinetic real fast, because I know I'm surrounded. Oh, enemies are all dead. Nice. Got a couple more over here at the courtyard, picking up another assist. And I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Where are these guys? Yard. I saw there's another one back there. Okay, we're not streaked up like super heavy right now, but we are going to be going on to the next half on like a five-ish streak. So it is possible to get the double nuke. I'm not going to stress myself out, but it's possible. We do have a UAV on deck right now. Maybe a teammate has an advance. That'd be pretty nutty if they did. It would help out a lot. Go ahead and throw a trip mine down, and let me just peek this here off the rip. Got player up top. Oh, I saw a player on that tank. Let me go ahead and pop this kinetic. Spotted. We got our swarm and advance combo. Go ahead and put that into the sky real fast. Okay, another one in the back alleyway. Take that kill. We got two players on B. This could be a freebies. Ah, uh, you know what? Let me go ahead and call him a nuke. His enemies are all spawning up on like the back alleyway in C right now, so this is a good safe opportunity for us to do so. Got two players hanging out right over here, neither one of them looking at me. I'll take that double kill. Come on. Ah, oh, dude, if I could have gotten that hip fire there, that would have been really good for our streak. Go ahead and throw up the UAV. Enemies have got to be spawning in this back alleyway, right? I was extremely confused by that. Thank you. I needed this advance pretty badly. I do have my kinetic to work with. Player on B. These guys are all playing the objective heavy. Pop the advance just because that guy did see me. Shoot. I just ran by these people like three times. Holy crap. Okay. I have a QQ9 in hand now. Enemies are in back alleyway. We're so close to the double. No! Going down there, bro. We have 53 kills. I kind of overextended there just because I was rushing it based off of the time, but I had plenty. I just didn't want to, like, slow down at all since we've been playing so aggressive since the start. It's all good because we do get our Type 25 back, which I've been feeling so freaking good with. Oh, yeah, we had plenty of game time left, dude. I don't know why I was stressing that. Another UAV here. Just keep streaking up. Contact with enemy. 
See if we can keep bending this game out strong. Got more players there at the barn, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that'll do it. Almost 60 kills, a little 59 kill gameplay. No double nuke for us, but you know what? It's okay. I'm not worried about it. Hope you guys did enjoy today's gameplay regardless. 59 and 3 is where we're going to go ahead and finish out that matchup. As far as my final thoughts on the stopping power versus extended mag debate, this is the build I'm going to go with. I just personally find the extended mag much more useful than the stopping power rounds, at least in rank, just because it's not like super competitive. So as far as like being able to take multiple fights and just my situational play, the extended mag works better for me. Now, if you want to use the stopping power rounds and you're going to play more aggressive, this is the build that I was using back when I was using iron sights and playing aggressive. And I found that to be pretty fun as well, but it's just the same issue for me whenever I'm using the stopping power is the fact that it only does have those 30 shots and the fire rate of the type 25 so fast. I just found myself reloading constantly and I would die a lot in those situations where I just didn't have enough ammo in my mag. But I'd definitely love to know what you guys all think down in the comment section below. So with all that being said, that will do it here for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, again, I'd really appreciate if you went ahead and hit that like button. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll do it for myself and I'll catch you all in the next one.